Hello, all the beautiful people of the world. It's the Creative Rush here, and today is part two. Um, uh, um, part two on how to make a first-person shooter controller in your own game. In our last episode, we played Half-Life 2, which didn't demonstrate what we were going to do whatsoever today. For the most, wait, wait never mind. Yes, it did. Wait, why? So the reason I say that is because if you watched my last video, you would know that. I sort of had a game I was developing that I completely lost, and the game is just gone. It was a race for my computer. I have no idea what happened to it, but I said in Half-Life 2 that I was just playing that game to, uh, as, like, a me day because I deserve it for all the pain I went through. But I said in that video I was going to cover aiming in this, like aiming down the sights of your weapon. I'm not doing that. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm probably not going to do that today. The reason is, is because I couldn't figure that part out in the deadline I needed to make this video. I might make the tutorial on how to add the aiming down sights later on, but for now, it's not going to be in this video, sorry. But we're still going to make a first person controller, so let's jump right into Unity. If you guys follow the tutorial correctly, you should end up with something a little like this. So you'll have a weapon in your scene that when you move your camera, sways around. And also, when you move, your head will bob up and down. Alright, after you open Unity, you're going to want to create a terrain, a directional light, and maybe a skybox. I've covered that in my other tutorials, but it's really easy to do, so I just felt like I didn't need to even bother with it this time. Just go to Create, 3D Object, Terrain, Light, Directional Light, and then Edit, Render Settings, and then you'll go to the skybox, pick a skybox material. Now let's make our FPS controller. So you're going to want to go into your standard assets, which are default with Unity, character controllers, and first person controller. Bring that out of the ground. And now, right off the bat, you'll have a game that has a first person controller in it. But if we go to play mode, it'll be very, very boring looking. You'll see here, you, all you can do is look and move. There's no, there's no like style to it. We're going to fix that. I downloaded an asset off the store just for a just for an object to put in front of the character. <clears throat> I will leave a link in the description so you can download that. It's completely free, and that's why I downloaded it. But I'm going to scale that to the right size. And I'm going to give it to the character. It's a little bit big, if I do say so myself. Drag it down. Still a little bit big. So I'll scale it down a bit. We're going to rotate it 90 degrees. And then put it where we think it would look best on the character. Keep checking your game. Put it up a little bit. Up a little bit. Down a tad. Then maybe forward a small bit. And then to the side, maybe a little. Never mind, not to the side. Alright, I'd say that looks good for our FPS game. So what you're going to want to do is go to your first person controller, go down to the main camera, and change where it says 1.3. You're going to change that to 1.01. .01. This changes how far away, how close you need to be to an object in order for you to start seeing through it. This is so we don't see through our gun. That SMG, the submachine gun, we're going to take that and drag it into our main camera. If you go to play mode, you will see that we now have a weapon in our scene. It's not functional, it's just a model, but it's attached to our player. Now what you want to do is we have a script called Gunsway. Now, I didn't write this script. I actually got this off an asset. This is an asset for Flare Gun. I will leave that down in the description too. But, it comes with some useful tools on making an FPS game. It comes with a fully functional Flare Gun with reloading and sound effects and everything. Microphones sideways. Done. But yeah, it comes with the sound effects, animations for the gun. 
and it comes with this script, and it's it's called Sway C in the actual asset, but I renamed it Gun Sway for our scene. That was just out of force habit. I'm sorry if it offends the people who made the asset. Not my fault. But you're going to take Gun Sway and drag it into the gun that you're going to have in your scene. Actually, I'll open that up. And you can take a look at that. Here's the Gun Sway script. Now, I'm going to be completely honest. I'm not entirely sure how it works. I know here are all the variables where we're going to set everything. So, have how much it moves. How fast it moves. Right here. What's moving. Um, I think... I'm not entirely sure what that is. Or move on why. Default position, that's where it the gun will be compared to your camera. I'm not sure what new gun position is. And here's all the scripting stuff. Whoops. All the, Stop dragging! All the scripting stuff needs to be done. And again, I'm not entirely sure how it works. But it's in an asset. You can go ahead and download that from the asset store. I will leave a description down below. So after you've attached that to your object, whoops, you're going to want to change the move amount to 10, about. This is just from Half-Life. This is about what Half-Life would be. And where it says, so move amount to 10, move speed to 7. And where it says gun, you're going to go to scene and pick submachine gun if I can find it. Um, here. Now for a default position, I'm going to put it where I put it on the camera. So all I have to do is go up here with X, Y, Z and copy those. So copy the X, put it down here, copy the Y, put it down here, and copy the Z, and put it down here. Whoops, I think I have two zeros. Not what I want. So now if we hit play and go into our scene, you'll see that we have a, uh, a swaying weapon in our game. Wait, here it is. Maybe Half-Life isn't that swayy, but it, you can adjust all the settings as much as you want. This is just for this tutorial. Now that we have that, we're going to do some head bobbing. So when we just move without looking, it's, it's pretty bland. So we have a head bobbing script headbob.js go ahead and open that up so in here we have our timer which we're not going to bother with head bobbing speed which is how fast your head will move bobbing amount which is how much it will move and midpoint which is where it will be by default when it's not moving I'll leave this script up here so you, all you guys can write it down. Uh, pause in 3, 2, 1. And alright, we're going to go ahead and drag that script in to our main camera. Bobbing speed and bobbing amount. We're going to want our midpoint to be about 1. It's about where our camera is on the white. We're going to put it right here. So again, copy whatever you have for the Y here, and put it right here. <clears throat> We're going to see how that looks with the bobbing speed and amount. I'm not sure how it's going to turn out. So here's our camera bobbing. You can see it's working fine, but we have our character getting in the way. So we're going to go in back into create mode. First person controller and you're going to delete graphics. Hit continue, and this is just going to make our character pretty much invisible. So if we go into play mode, you'll see that we have a weapon that sways, and we have head bobbing. Wait, here. The weapon swing when we look, then when we go to move, we have our head bob, and it works just fine. And that, everybody, is how you create a first-person shooter controller in Unity. Since there's nothing else to say, I'll see all you guys in the next video. See you later. Hello, and I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, why not leave a like, and if you want to keep up to date on my latest content, hit the subscribe button right here.
If you want to check out my part one on this, hit the link right here. And if you want to watch my last tutorial, which I think was on making realistic environments in your own game, hit the link right here. If you want to check out this awesome music in my outro, it's made by Technoax, and it's a song called Laser Gun Fight. You can check out his channel right here. Also, I have a Facebook. So if you click the link right here, you can check out my Facebook page and my channel. I'll see you all later.